everyone. Today I'm going to read to you, Can I Have a Stegosaurus Mom? Can I please? So this little boy wants a stegosaurus and he's asking his mom if he can have one. What do you think she's going to say? He's looking at a catalog or a magazine with a stegosaurus for sale. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, look how big it would be in his room. It's huge. My stegosaurus could sleep with me in my bed every night, and I wouldn't have to worry about scary monsters jumping out of my closet and pouncing on me as soon as I close my eyes. Because if they ever even tried, my stegosaurus would jump out of my bed and pounce on them. And they'd be squashed, splat, flatter than flat. Because a stegosaurus foot is gigantic. So if there were monsters, he's just imagining. But if they were really there, the stegosaurus could squish them. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, when you made some yucky vegetables for supper and put tons of it on my plate, and I said, and you said I couldn't have any dessert until my plate was clean, my stegosaurus could eat it all up for me, and my plate would be sparkling clean, and you would be happy, and I would be happy, and my stegosaurus would be happy too, because the stegosaurus really loves yucky vegetables. Miss Froster told us that in science class. And if Miss Froster forgot to reserve the school bus for us the day we were supposed to take their field trip to the museum, my stegosaurus could take us. And I'd sit high on his head with Miss Froster, and the other kids could sit up and down the rest of him. So they could all fit on top of the stegosaurus instead of taking the school bus. And I tell Zelmo Zimmer to hold on tight to the spikes on his tail so he wouldn't fall off. Miss Froster always seats us alphabetically. So he knew that Zelmo Zimmer would be at the tail of the dinosaur. If they're in ABC order, Z is at the end of the alphabet. So it would be at the end of the dinosaur. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I? Please, if I had a stegosaurus, Mom, whenever there was a parade in town, I'd get the best view of anyone. Because I'd climb up on my stegosaurus to see everything. And the drum major would wave at me as he passed by, and I would wave back. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, at summer camp, my stegosaurus and I would do great in all the races, thundering across the finish line first every time. And we'd do great in the tug of war, too. The kids on the other side wouldn't have a chance, because the dinosaur's really strong. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom... On Halloween, you and Dad wouldn't have to go out trick-or-treating with me. My stegosaurus would, and I'd be safe, really safe. Who'd pick on a little stegosaurus trick-or-treating on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? And who wouldn't give a special treat to a little stegosaurus ringing on their doorbell on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, my stegosaurus would make a super mascot for my peewee football team, cheering us on during halftime 
and thundering up and down the bleachers every time anyone made a touchdown. The crowd would go wild, and so would the coach. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, and I suddenly remembered on Christmas Eve that I'd left something off my Christmas list, I'd jump on my stegosaurus, and we'd go galloping, galloping, galloping to the North Pole fast. And when we got there, I'd tell Santa what it was I left off my list. And Santa would thank me for coming, and he'd add it to my list, of course. But, Mom, the most important reason for having a stegosaurus, the one that really counts the most, Mom, is that yesterday I found this gigantic egg in the woods under a pile of leaves, and I've been sitting on it ever since. And it's beginning to crack open right now crack 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 uh oh remember dinosaurs hatch from eggs can i have a tyrannosaurus rex mom can i please if i had a tyrannosaurus rex mom uh oh what do you think happened he asked his mom for a stegosaurus because he thought that gigantic egg he found and was sitting on was going to hatch into a stegosaurus. So he didn't really care about all of his reasoning. He just wanted his mom to say yes because he was already sitting on it. He wanted to keep what was inside. But at the end, when it hatches, you can see the shadow. So he's in his room and you can see the shadow. What kind of dinosaur is that shadow? It looks like a T-Rex because all of its sharp, sharp, sharp teeth and short arms and claws. And so now the egg hatched into a T-Rex. So he asked his mom for a stegosaurus for no, no reason because he doesn't have one. Now he has a T-Rex and he doesn't want to get in trouble. So he's asking his mom if he can have a T-Rex because he already has one. It's just a secret. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a good day.